David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today, I have for you two brand new releases from Visconti, just launched this week, which are in the Voyager Mariposa line. What I am going to do today is go over the parts and features of these luxury pens with a unique theme, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about them. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Coles of London, the U.S. distributors for Visconti, as well as SD DuPont, for providing these pens on loan for review. Now, Mariposa is Spanish for butterfly. Butterflies can come in all sorts of amazing colors and patterns, and the two pens in this Mariposa series are each inspired by a specific butterfly genus. And the resins are from Jonathan Brooks, who has a very good talent of being able to implement a theme into a resin. And here we have the Malachite and the Painted Beauty. Uh, both of these pens look amazing. Uh, this one here is the Malachite, uh, and then this one here is the Painted Beauty. Uh, in regard to the Painted Beauty butterfly, it's a species found in the upper Amazon areas of Brazil and Ecuador and Peru. Uh, the wings have a unique combination of blue and pink and yellow and some cream as well. Even some deep saffron, which can range from like a maroonish red to a yellowish orange. Uh, each of those colors is represented in this pen. While I think the Painted Beauty looks nice, um, I really like this Malachite. Uh, the Malachite butterfly has large wings which are black and a brilliant green or yellow on the upper side. Um, I think it's interesting how butterflies can have two completely different patterns on the inside and outside of their wings. Uh, for the Malachite, the underside has more of a like a muted palette of light brown and olive green. Uh, you can see how that might be better for the butterfly in regard to camouflage for predators. Uh, and then this is how that color palette was implemented into the pen. Uh, I think this looks fantastic. While the colors used in the Painted Beauty could have a number of sources of inspiration, uh, when I saw this Malachite, I instantly felt it looked like a butterfly, even before I knew what these were inspired by. Uh, in regard to the differences between these two models, the Malachite has a black PVD trim and a ruthenium-plated 18-karat gold nib, and the Painted Beauty has palladium trim and an 18-karat white gold nib. Okay, let's take a closer look at the parts and features of these pens. For this part, let's just focus on the Malachite. Uh, on the top of the cap, it is adorned with a coin featuring the Visconti logo in ruthenium. Uh, these pens do utilize Visconti's My Pen system, where these coins are held on magnetically and can be traded out for things like a birthstone or your initials. Uh, it's a neat way to customize and personalize your pen. Uh, then we have the traditional Visconti clip with a white background and raised black letters. Um, I've always liked Visconti clips. Uh, they're unique in the way they look as well as how they function. Uh, you can't really just slide this into a pocket or sleeve. The clip isn't designed to function that way. What you do is you hold it in the middle and you just pinch. And then that act of pinching will raise the hinge clip. And then it easily uh, extends quite a bit so it can accommodate materials of varying thicknesses. Um, it does open so wide that I feel confident in saying it will function well with items so thick that it would typically damage other pens. Uh, you could really get something thick under there with no issues. The barrel angles up slightly until you reach this wide band. It's engraved with the model name of Voyager as well as alternating up and down Visconti V's. The band angles down, making for a small and smooth transition from the cap to the barrel. Uh, the barrel angles down at an even rate of decline until you get here to the end. We have a thin band signifying the beginning of the piston knob, and the very end of that knob is slightly rounded, and includes the number of your pen. Uh, both of these pens are limited editions, but um, I'm uncertain how many of each will be produced. Um, as with the vast majority of Visconti pens, this uh, cap utilizes the hook safe lock mechanism. Uh, this allows you to cap and uncap the pen in only a quarter of a turn. Uh, 
Um, how you operate this is a bit different. You don't just twist, it's more of a push and twist with both the uh, clip and cap operating different than most other pens. It could take a bit of getting used to before you build up the muscle memory, uh, but that's one of the things that I enjoy about Visconti pens. You know, it's like when I'm traveling. I enjoy visiting cities that are distinct and different from anywhere else in the world. Uh, if you are in Manhattan, it feels like you are in New York. Uh, if you are in San Diego, it feels like you're in Southern California. Uh, they are distinct. Um, when using this pen, you feel like you are using a Visconti. The features are unique uh, and not found anywhere else. Um, as I cycle through my collection on a daily basis, um, I do enjoy the variety Visconti pens provide. Okay, once you have removed the cap, underneath we have an 18 karat gold ruthenium plated number six nib. Uh, this nib is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, as well as a stub. Um, I've always liked the stamping on Visconti's nibs. And here's a look at the plastic feed. This section is a bit on the short side. Uh, it's concave and quickly transitions into the hook safe lock threads and the remainder of the barrel. Um, with this shorter section, I do find my grip spills over to those threads, but I find them to be rather blocky enough to not be uncomfortable or be a hindrance. Um, with the shortness of the section, you are rather locked in to gripping the section in a specific place. I wouldn't say that it accommodates a wide variety of grip locations. Uh, the pen is plenty long enough to use unposted. Um, I do find it very comfortable in the hand and well balanced. Uh, the cap does post. It doesn't post that deeply. Um, it, it, it is secure, but the cap is a bit on the hefty side, so I, I do feel it backweights the pen just a bit, throwing off that balance, uh, as well as adding a bit of unwieldy length. So I personally prefer to use this pen unposted. Um, this pen utilizes Visconti's power filling system. Uh, it's what they call their vacuum filling mechanism. You twist the knob here in the back and you extend the piston. Um, I do like how the ruthenium trim on this pen extends to the piston knob threads. I think that's a nice little detail. Uh, and then what you do is you insert the nib into the bottled ink of your choosing. You depress the piston here and after a second you hear a click. And when you hear that, ink is sucked up into the barrel. Uh, this filling system typically results in a fairly large fill. Um, when it comes to cleaning this pen, a pen with this filling system, um, I find it simple just to literally cycle warm water through it, just literally like this, and just over and over again. And after a bit, it will be clean. Um, it's a bit easier than having to disassemble the pen in order to get a thorough cleaning. Uh, the Voyager Mariposa line are luxury pens, uh, and they have an accompanying luxury price. Um, both of these pens have an MSRP of $9.95. However, through authorized dealers, you will typically find these at a 20% discount off of that price, so they will sell for around $7.95. Uh, the pen is also available in a roller bowl for a slightly lower price as well. Uh, these pens were just released this week and can be found at a wide variety of retailers. Um, I think the Painted Beauty looks nice, but I really like this Mariposa. Jonathan Brooks did a great job with both of these resins. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. So here we go with some size comparisons for the Visconti Voyager Mariposa line. Uh, we have the Malachite as well as the Painted Beauty. Uh, let's take a look at that Painted Beauty. And I just think that's a really nice mix of uh, whites and lighter blues and even some pearlescence in here. Uh, and then some of the pinks and a little bit of red. Uh, but then, like I mentioned before, I think that this malachite looks really sharp. I just like the combination of the green and then the stark black, uh, as well as the uh, pinkish red. And again, has some pearlescence in there. Uh, I just think that this looks really sharp. So in regard to a couple of other Visconti models, um, this is what it looks like with a Homo sapiens. Uh, and then this is what it looks like with a Davina. Uh, and then here, what it looks like with an opera, and this is in the uh, Desert Springs material. 
And in regard to some non-Visconti pens, this is what it looks like with a Pelican M1000 and a Montblanc 149. Uh, and then here it is with a Sailor King of Pen in Royal Tangerine. And finally, this is what it looks like with a Leonardo Memento Zero. Uh, this was my Fig Boot on Pens model with a really nice take on Jonathan Brooks' Earth Magic. Um, I think one, like, one of these would look really great in this material. Maybe let me know in the comments below if you think that would look nice. So in regard to some uncapped comparisons, uh, this is what it is with the Homo Sapiens and the Pelican M1000, as well as the Mont Blanc 149. Here we go with the writing sample for the Visconti. And this is the Mariposa line. And this specific pen is the Malachite. This right here is a medium 14 karat gold nib. You know what? No, it's an 18 karat gold nib. I don't know why I said that. Uh, and the ink that I'm using here, since I, I thought this was a nice, nice vibrant green pen, uh, that I thought I would use a nice vibrant green ink, which is uh, Diamine Apple Glory. This is what the ink looks like. Like I said, it's just a really nice, vibrant green. Uh, this is what it looks like with something a little bit lighter, which is the Caran d'Ache Delicate Green. And something a little bit darker is the Fountain Pen Revolution Green with Envy. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, I do like this 18 karat gold nib. Uh, Visconti currently offers a 14 karat and an 18 karat. I don't see a, feel a lot of difference between the two, uh, though this 18 karat is very pleasant. Um, it uh, it isn't super glossy smooth. It does have a little bit of feedback, which is nice. Um, the ink flow on this medium nib is decent. This ink is a little bit on the dry side. In regard to reverse writing. It's not overly scratchy and it actually gets the job done. In regard to some fast writing. The feed keeps up very well. So there we have the Voyager Mariposa line. We have the Malachite as well as the Painted Beauty. Uh, I think uh, Visconti really hit it out of the park with these models. I think both of them look outstanding. Okay, until next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.